I have to say, right now, I'm really, really, really impressed with how our tiny little five-city Roman Empire is going. 116 science per turn has put me right up there with the best of people. And we've got a lot of space to expand still. So, I'm getting my infrastructure in place. I have a settler I've just bought out here, but I'm going to quickly take over the rest of northern Italy. Uh, Ravanna has got Magnus, who I'm going to be able to put in provision in. And I'm going to see if I can start settling down the Adriatic coast, the rest of the Italian mainland. I've got Sicily down here. I've got Corsica and Sardinia, which I need to really, really settle into, and maybe even Northern Africa. So I've got plenty of space that I can, I can settle into. People have gone, oh, why didn't you go for a huge legion rush at the start? Well... You know, legions are good, they're good, but I had a distinct lack of iron at the beginning of the game. There was iron here, but I just I hadn't really settled it very well, and there was no one that was trading it with me, so legions do need iron. Yeah, not, not so good. And actually, since uh, Man at Arms has been brought in, not as useful as once they were. You know, legions are still pretty good, but not as useful as once they were. I will go to war, but I'm building up a bit of a tech advantage here. Just by turtling, I'm on 30 techs. Germany and Gaul, who are my two potential targets to the north of me, have 21 and 20 techs research. That's already a 9 and 10 uh, bonus I have over them. Coal in Hungary, that's something I really could use actually, but we'll, if I settle on the coast I'll be able to get a little bit more loyalty pressure in this area and maybe go after Hungary in a little bit. I've got Simbad on the way, if I can get Simbad, that'll turn barbarians down on the coast of the Italian mainland into gold. Now that would be pretty damn handy. And in the meantime I've got a bunch of apostles and missionaries on the way to spread uh, Eastern Orthodoxy around my empire. And we've got, yeah, they've got shrine and shrine popping along. Oh, we're gonna feed the world so hard, it's gonna be great. Reformed Church is going to be next up. Theocracy, it's a really good government. Turning faith into, or okay, extra faith and turning that into all of my different policies and science and culture and gold and all that stuff is really good. I've got three envoys in the bank now. You can see I'm easily friends and allied with all three city-states with, uh, you know, around me. It's looking good. It's looking good. I'm enjoying this. This is, this is tasty. Another university finished in this city as well. Oh, that's good. Fantastic stuff. I think I'm, yeah, just building a couple of factories in. That could be quite good. I could actually start to get a little bit more of an army now. That's something I could consider doing. Uh, pikemen are 45 strength. They're pretty good. Actually, how far am I away from pike and shot? They're over here. Not far. 55 strength would be pretty damn good for me, actually. I don't have any niter, but I could just get pike and shot. Oh, that's an intriguing one that. I think printing, we'll finish printing and then yeah, pike and shot's got to be something I think about getting. So, I could get some pikemen for now. Is it worth getting an encampment to finish those off? Let me just remind myself what the World Congress is at the moment. Yeah, I do get culture bombs. I was just wondering about that actually. Could I, could I in theory steal that coal from Hungary? Unfortunately, because of the way the mountains are here, I think I've lost my chance to do that with a culture bomb, which is a little bit annoying, but never mind. Right. Okay, getting rid of Catholicism in Rome. That's the first chunk. Second chunk, oh yeah, Eastern Orthodoxy will happily get put into that. And then the shrine will turn faith into food for Rome. And oh, the capital is going to be absolutely massive. Bi Sheng. Okay, that's one more district in my city. That's wonderful. He's only got a single charge, so I'm going to keep him by Rome. As I say, as soon as I actually pick up that harbour, I can think about getting the mausoleum and a bunch of other wonders, actually. So that's really cool. Let's get a temple and another bunch of faith. And more importantly, Eastern Orthodoxy in Rome. Wonderful. Okay, this city should start growing pretty quick now. One more settler in. Antium is now mine. Nice little city, that one. Especially when I pick up this iron. That's a very important purchase for me, that. I'm actually going to go for a cultural alliance with Hungary. Seems like a random one, but I quite like the idea of being able to settle on that coast, actually. Let's just, as well, just see. Uh, hang on. If I go for... Yeah, I'll give you some of that. I want this back. I need your gold as well. Oh, yeah. Hungary's really after that deal. Wonderful. That's a good old deal with them. Getting alliances in with as many people as I can. In fact, Greece, I'd quite like a scientific alliance with or an economic alliance. Yeah, that'll do. I'll give Gilgamesh the Research Alliance. Why not Georgia the Religious Alliance? Come on then. Tasty stuff. Okay, good. That's a lot of a lot of stuff. What I am just looking at is it's three turns. 
three turns and I need nine era score. Ooh, that's interesting. Sinbad's going to be a bit late, unfortunately, to the party. I'm going to have to do something that's impressive, and I don't entirely know what that is at the moment, but we'll we'll figure that out. A bit late to the party and a lot of this stuff. Trading posts, world circumnavigated. Oh, I could almost circumnavigate a world, but I did, I've missed out a couple of tiles there. Actually, if I can get some of the map, that might at least help a little bit. I do love how desperate France are for luxuries. Makes some very good trading partners. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to build up a little bit more gold because I think if I can get to, I've got a thousand now, a thousand five hundred I can just purchase in this great engineer. That would give me some era score and then I could use that to rush a wander through and then that would, I mean, that would be something. Uh, Venetian Arsenal, I don't think I'd be able to do that quickly then. I need this harbour, otherwise it's kind of a bit pointless. Oh dear. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say at the time, I actually did steal back the horses. Um, don't forget, I, I culture bombed using a holy site, so that's pretty cool. Now, there's no way I can think of to actually get nine era score. I could probably steal two great people at most, but I can't, I don't have enough turns in order to get somebody who constructs a wonder and then rush that through. I don't think, I don't think, I mean, maybe, maybe I can. It might be possible, but my poor little brain just doesn't seem to be able to think about a way. I mean, I'm having a look through everything I can and... No, no, there you go. I mean, I can get coal and horses and things, and I don't think I can still buy a legion. Oh, no, I can still buy a legion. That's intriguing. That's intriguing. I could still, in theory, buy a legion. There's a little bit of gold. Just thinking about this. I wonder if anybody's got any iron that they're willing to trade with me. That's the thing. A lot of people have got iron, but not many people actually want to trade it. Germany will, though. Okay. That's something then. That means I've got I've got 18 horses and 10 iron, but I can get myself a legion in let's get it in Putali. So that is not only the first unit with iron, but it's also my unique unit. So that gives me sort of like a double whammy on that one. Four era score and then plus one as well. So I've now need four era score to finish. Okay, there's a bit more gold here and two more horses. That takes me to 20. It's a thing, I can only buy courses, and they're very expensive with gold. And I'd rather, I think, get myself the Great Engineer. Okay, just a little bit more diplomatic favour for some more gold. A bit more gold with Hungary as well. Uh, that means I can now buy in this Engineer, who's the cheapest. I could, I mean, I could save up for a Merchant, because I'm going to get the Engineer anyway, but it's a really good Engineer, and I quite like building Wonders, so I think for me, Let's just do that. Okay, so that puts me to 100. I need one more era score. I think I can do that actually by adopting another government. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. 95 gold needed. Damn it. Um, oh, typically Suleiman has the five I need. Okay, there you go. That is that. That means if I now go and go to government and unlock for gold and go to monarchy, I think that means plus three era score. Oh, God, I've actually overshot. After all that, I overshot. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, Craftsman. Fantastic. That is awesome. Put feudal contract in with Craftsman. Ah, oh, a Golden Age. That's going to make it so much easier, actually. So much easier. I'll be able to actually do something with the Golden Age. Hopefully, I can buy Settlers. Now, that would be a cool thing to be able to do. We'll see if that works or not. Golden Age dedication. Hungary is in a Golden Age. Nobody else is. Excellent stuff. Monumentality is still a thing. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn my thief into settlers. I think that sounds like a wonderful plan. Let's get a what in. A bit more faith. Uh, and now, actually, I can think about where I'm going to be getting my settlers from. Ravenna is doing well as a city. So I'm just going to quickly get a settler from here. But I do need to put one more governor title in that city. But actually, I can now start to think about getting cities on this coast. Because I do have a cultural alliance with Hungary, which helps a lot switch now over to theocracy it was a brief and fleeting thing but we enjoyed that government whilst we had it okay uh, i think uh, to be fair this is going to be no different wars of religion is going to be so so good later on simultaneum is pretty rubbish but republican legacy there we go natural philosophy and scripture giving me what i need in that point but look at this it's sinbad sinbad's going to go and help me he's actually 60 melee strength so i can use him 
in naval combat, but I'm actually going to just take advantage of him and, and go and clear some barbs. You know, after all my complaining, Vatican City does actually follow Catholicism now. I quite enjoy that. That's good fun. Yes, barbs. This is what I was hoping for. 500 gold already from Sinbad. I can actually turn this gold into a huge amount of infrastructure in my empire. Another what over here. It's the combination of science and faith. It's really, really good for me. I do enjoy that a lot. How's the um, appeal doing in cities around? I mean, there is some crazy appeal on the tiles around here. I mean, I could, in theory, take advantage of the preserve, or maybe two, but I mean, I think I need to actually get those quarries involved over here, so maybe that's not the best thing. Do I get a foreign ministry and use Himiko to levy units from cities? I mean, Vatican, for instance, has got one, two, three, four men at arms and some warrior monks. That's a pretty good army. Or do I get Grandmaster's Chapel? I think Grandmaster's Chapel's got to be something I do. I'm building, busy building factories in Rome, but I think that's probably the slowest thing I can use my gold for. But I could actually just buy a factory up in Ravenna. That wouldn't be too bad an idea. This is quite an industrial little city, actually. Don't know. Don't know. We'll see. Oh, my legion just turned up in Gaul, thinking I could probably pillage a campus, and uh, yeah, I just got killed very quickly there. I think I might retreat. Actually, there's no way I can retreat. These guys are dead. All right, I'll do some pillaging. Oh dear, that was a bad mistake. Soon bad to get rid of that bar bar post. Okay, I'm at 3,000 gold now. Just saving it to buy some stuff in for my new cities, which I'm going to put on the coast here. Now I'm intrigued as to whether or not my trade route is going to go through Hungary's lands, aka I'm going to build a road to Rome sort of via that coast. We'll see if that works for now. Oh, I was gambling on that being a nice holy site place. It was not. No, no road was built. Ugh. Oh, terrible. Never mind using Sinbad's gold. I've already got a granary here. I've already got a decent builder. It'll help to get this city up and running. Minus seven. Okay, okay. I think that's going to be a difficult city to hold on to, but I think I've got enough governors here. Magnus, you just pop over. Lovely. That city will be mine. That's good. Let's get the granary in. Let's get the builder in. Okay. This is exactly what these new cities are for. Uh, and the holy site, actually, seeing that, I quite wanted to put it on that tile, and there's some cows on there that I could be getting rid of to start with. So, let's a little bit of work into a builder and then I'll flip that over. Sinbad though is absolutely rocking. So much gold. I'm going to get about 4,000 gold from Sinbad all in all. There we go. That gets rid of the cattle. Immediately puts me up to quite a lot of population. I think I'm going to actually get the first of my canals going soon. Um, they're quite exciting. Get a I think a shipyard would be pretty good. But yeah, canals are looking very exciting. I also now have Magnus in this city who is ready to go. Absolutely ready to go. So, um, settlers. Yeah, let's get some settlers going. Um, I think I'm going to start to settle down on the mainland of Italy, but also there are some amazing tiles down here. I think we saw this on another playthrough, actually, but that's a reef and that's a um, geothermal fissure. So if I stick a campus on that tile, that's a plus four, which is beautiful. <laughs> More watts. Oh, yeah. Okay, Antium's doing pretty good. Let's get the first of the baths done in this city. You can see, actually, the air infrastructure of this area is working really well. And, oh, I forget that. Industrial zone, culture bomb. That is a nice little thing there as well. Um, Himiko, come on, you're in the way. I need a builder. Can you not see that? Thank you very much. That'll be one, two, three tiles there. Putali could do with another builder as well. That's all I'm kind of doing with my gold at the moment is just getting infrastructure in that's nice and cheap. Um, you can see I've got a lot of decent new cities here, but otherwise we're doing all right. There's three settlers I've now got out, and that will be four. So the Roman Empire is beginning to expand quite nicely now. Grandmaster's Chapel is now done. Okay, that's quite good. That means we can now think about getting the harbour in, because I finally got the population to hold that one off. Four turns, and then we can get a bunch of wonders in. That is going to be lovely stuff. In fact, I might be able to chop it, actually. Uh, yeah, that'll happen much quicker. Quickly get this industrial zone going. Okay, this is good. The infrastructure I'm getting in now is looking pretty sweet indeed. Canal? Should we get the canal going or should we get the campus going? I'll get the canal going first. I just really want a couple of canal cities. The idea of them just makes me very happy. Let's chop this one now. Is that worth it? I'll do it with the other builder actually. 
we'll go chop. That's that bath complete. Well, hey, this is wonderful. God, our cities are doing fantastically now. The only thing I was thinking, actually, is I've got a lot of workshops being built now. So I could get rid of the classical Republic legacy and put in, now what's it called, Invention, I believe? Uh, yeah, which would give me at least eight Great Engineer points per turn, probably more. Is it worth it to get all those Great Engineers? Probably, but we'll, we'll work on that in a second. This time we've got a lot more voting to be done. I mean, I like the idea of getting city centre buildings, I must say. Uh, although we probably could rush or, or force something in like industrial zone buildings through, but I think city centre always tends to go through. So we like that one. And I like trade routes too. Let's go for scientific city states because we've got a bunch of those near us. I'll, I'll put in six votes on that and then four votes on city centre. Um, oh, one of them didn't go through. Let's see which one it was. Campus. Campus went through. Okay, you know what? That's actually not a bad thing. Still though, let's get some wonders done. There's the mausoleum. That is wonder number one. Now, I believe Imhotep is here. He gives 175 production. Uh, I need 400 to complete this, but doubled if the wonder is from the relevant era, which it is. So that'll give 350, which should mean that I think that takes it down to about two turns, maybe? One turn. Look at that. And Eastern Orthodoxy just got spread as well. Of course it did. Vatican City giving that benefit as well. Lovely stuff. And an industry opportunity for Wales. Oh, Wales are a good industry, actually. Especially for my capital, because I believe Wales give me military units. Yeah, towards military units. That could be very good for Rome. I might just quickly dip in and uh, pick up a builder just to pick that one up. At any rate, there is Sicily which is quite cool. Mountains do smoke a little. We're not going to mind about that one, but the usual, there's a granary, there's a builder. That'll help it to just get up to speed nice and quickly. Egypt. Okay, Egypt are actually not having too bad a game this time. Sometimes Egypt can have an absolutely terrible game, but they're doing okay. How many more people are there to meet on this map? I think I've met everybody. Do I just get, um, yeah, first to meet everybody, plus five ever score. Nice stuff. There's the mausoleum. First wonder of three I'm hoping to build actually with Imhotep. That obviously gives me another great engineer charge and all of my great engineers, God, they're gonna be busy. They're gonna be super busy. Actually, quite a little area around here, which is pretty nice. So that is the first one. Oh, look at all that. Oh, the yields, the yields. It's not quite as good as sometimes when you get Auckland in the game, but still the yields are very real. Um, the Colossus is now next up. There we go. Let's park that down. Gives me another trade route, which is always useful. Uh, Imhotep. Bang. And these settlers are just having a quick peek. I coal. Coal is the main, uh, uh, major objective here. Uh, if I can pick up coal, I'm going to be very happy. If I can't, I mean, it's not going to be a problem, but that is the main goal here. Did find Nitre though. Now that is useful, that is really useful, because I can actually, I've now got the Grand Master's Chapel. I can purchase in some muskets and go after Germany. Germany would be a good person to go for, actually. If I can get a trade route going into Nuremberg, make a road, use Himiko, start taking over some people, because, you know, Rome is nothing without an empire, and we've done brilliantly so far. But I do want a bit of an empire. You know what, I will actually use France as an ally, though I'm tempted just to keep keep France as an ally here. There is the Colossus. Second wonder for me. Oh, looking forward to this. I think the extra trade route to Rome is going to help massively. I can get myself, actually if I can get trade with France, that would help me to get the alliance going. I really want to share visibility with her. Uh, Toulouse. That does take me through Gaul's territory. I'm not entirely sure that's the best route, but oh well. It's good while it lasts. Another city here. I'm actually starting to build into um into the area now and i don't think i've got culture bombs anymore but i could culture bomb with an industrial zone i mean that would have been a really nice tile for me there i've got to actually think about how i do that can i can i rearrange myself so that i get a bit more of a culture bomb there um let me have a think about that okay a great engineer uh is he one that pops in city centers yes he is okay that means I can actually use him to spread my religion around a little bit. So I'll go and put him in this new city, which is very handy. Rome has just built a lighthouse. Let me just quickly get rid of these tacks, which means I should be able to build the great lighthouse. Yep, still an option. 
and bam. Oh, this one actually went through immediately. Cool, so Imhotep, Three Wonders, Great Lighthouse, Colossus, and the Mausoleum. That's not bad really, is it? It's a bunch of era score, if nothing else, so I should go straight into a golden era, I would hope, next time round. Thing is, I've actually still got um, a lovely engineer in Isidore. Yeah, production towards wonders. That's wonderful. And then Bi Xing actually can put another district down in a city. Now, do I want to get the Venetian Arsenal or do I want to get the Kilwa down? The Kilwa would give me 15% extra science now that I think about it, which would be awesome. There's also the Oxford University to think about. There's two options here which are very, very good. I think I'm going to go Kilwa first. I'm going to try and stick the Kilwa over on this tile over here. Um, I think that's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, let's build the kill wherever on that tile. And the Seodor will give me a little bit more production towards it, like so. One thing I am going to do is get a shipyard, because I realised that Rome is actually working a huge amount of these unimproved coast tiles, and the shipyards of course give me plus one production to all of those tiles. So now, Rome, yeah, look at that, it's just jumped by a good Ooh, seven or eight production that helps with the Kilwa. Okay, so we're on to five turns for that one. Kilwa, I mean, it's going to be fantastic. I mean, my science should shoot way up above 200 with that. There isn't really anything super interesting on this bit of Africa, but I'm wondering whether or not settling here just the oranges might be quite fun. There's a lot of, a lot of barbarians in this area, <laughs> huge amount of barbarians. Uh, is it worth settling in the bits of Africa that I know I can probably do something with? I mean, th these areas are way better. There's a lot more fresh land. I think over in Morocco has got to be a good place for me. Oh, it seems awful having to just sort of drag my settlers around the map. I think it's probably worth it. Yeah, Oxford University. I think it's got to be worth it. It's a good, it's a good wonder. Combine that and the Kilwa together. Yeah, I'm happy with that. There is Kilwa. Okay, 15% extra science across my capital, or in my capital, and then another 15% science across my empire because I have two city-states that I'm suzerain of. Plus, I think I get three more envoys, which is amazing. I'm just kind of waiting to actually meet someone else. Himiko, I've just lost. I think I can probably get her back immediately, actually. Yes, I can. Now, that's intriguing. I need to have a look and see which of my city-states I can actually levy the army from because I'd quite like to actually do a little bit of war now. We've reached that stage of the game where I think it's just worth it. Nuremberg is, is asking to be hit, I think. Okay, let's get that wonder done. Oxford, already, okay, 19 turns to get that one. Feels like a lot. Don't mind me that again. Just going to take your muskets. Thank you very much. A couple more cities go down now. Excellent stuff. This is all wonderful. This is, this is brilliant. Okay. Let's get that granary in, and then we'll get a builder in as well. In the meantime, Bologna, I think I'm just going to give a couple more envoys to you, just to make sure the army is nice and secure. And then Himiko is going to levy you as well. Going to switch over to invention. I think I do like the sound of those great engineer points. Those are cool. Vissel banking. People love this trade card. <laughs> well, all of my all of my trade routes to city-states are, are doing very very good at the moment and and that's all lovely for me scripture i'm gonna get rid of that and put onto skyscrapers to get my capital whirring through that'll do for now until i get a better government those policies are going to do nicely for me the enlightenment is a fantastic card how many turns have i got 10 turns to get uh 16 era score 10 turns 16 era score okay good to know one more city here. Oh, I thought that might be sprawling empire. Not quite yet. There is economics. Okay, that's corporations. I've been saving this great merchant for this very purpose. I quite like a corporation. I'd love a Wales corporation. That sounds amazing. Uh, flight, yeah, go on then. Oh, I love flight. I love the fact that I can levy Geneva and get era score from it as well. I think Spain is pretty much unoccupied. I've just seen down here there's um there's loads of coal. I might have to <laughs> it seems like a long way away, but that's kind of what I'm after really, coal. So yeah, I might have to go down there and see what I can do. Oh, Oxford University was taken, so I should have done it the other direction. It was worth doing Oxford over Kilwatt. Never mind. When I when I started, nobody that I could see was doing it. 
but never mind. That means I've got a bit of a production overspill anyway. Maybe I can use that to get the Venetian Arsenal. Might be an idea. Yeah, nine turns on Venetian Arsenal. That's not too bad at all. There is the Corporation. Nice. Ryan's fatty, salty paste. Mmm, that's a corporation you guys all know and love. Oh, Granada. Alcazars. Oh, that's amazing. I've actually got five envoys now. Sinbad has just uh, left a relic. That's pretty cool. But I can actually steal Granada now. And that will give me a huge amount of visibility in that area. Is it worth it? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't quite do it, actually. I need to make sure that Armani is put over in that direction. Uh, Geneva's still got 10 envoys. How many people are influencing them? Okay, Geneva's pretty safe. Good. Good, good, good. So yeah, all my envoys over into Granada. I've got Da Vinci. He gives me an extra Eureka. But also workshops provide free culture. I can do that twice. That's a huge boost for me. Um, and actually it spreads my religion around. There's nowhere really to worry about spreading my religion around at the moment. But still, it's always worth keeping an eye out for that one. Placeable parts. Nice. And Fez, of course. Fez is down here as well. Oh, all of these places would be fantastic for me. This time, radio boosted. That's okay. Even better. Even better. So we've actually got pretty decent things now. Oh, Germany, I'm so tempted to go for you. I am so tempted. I mean, that campus in itself is just worth it. University, library, campus. It's only population two city and it's very difficult to get to, but I'm about to get myself some pretty decent bombards. So is it worth it? I think it probably is. I'm just building up the courage to do it. Mm, looks like England may already be on this. They're busy settling Spain. <laughs> Great Admiral, gives me a privateer. That'd be quite handy, but not hugely so. Granada, let's just unlock all the map around here that we can. Uh, it has not unlocked the map for me. It's a few times it's done that now. Never mind. Um, it means we can now build Alcazars. Alcazars are amazing. These Alcazars do give a little bit more culture, a bit more science. Very useful. Whoa, I'm the first into the modern era. Flight, there you go. Not bad at all. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go immediately for radio and see what aluminium we've got in our empire. Two turns as well to get four era score. It's very possible that. Very possible indeed. Merchants, I'm just over the halfway mark on that, which is a little bit annoying. But if I were to get this guy, I can actually rush my wander through. Okay, one turn, three era score. I think I can get a core. I don't think it would be the world's first though. So I don't know if that would get me the points that I need. But, I mean, it's a terrific waste. But I could rush Venetian Arsenal and then get the points. I think I'll, I'll save that until the end of the turn, just in case I can figure out something else that'll do it for me. It looks like a really random place to settle here. But I was thinking I could do it and then I could eat all that wheat using a builder in order to make a, an extra population city. I think I'm going to just try and go for that coal, but I think actually taking over Spain is going to be quite useful for me here. Yeah, I can think of no other way. Well, as I say, it feels like a waste because I'm using a charge to basically do a turn's worth, but that gives me the era score needed to flick me over into a golden age. So yes, it's a bit inefficient, but it does what I need it to do. And the Venetian Arsenal is just, oh, it's just wonderful. It, it's amazing. It's brilliant. And it helps me just basically to own the Mediterranean now, which is pretty cool. So Rome is doing doing nicely on that front. I was actually thinking it just give it a more, more district that it can do. And then I'm going to pop in, I mean, a commercial hub would be useful. Um, in order to get a bit more gold in, but I think an encampment I'm going to do first just so that I can get a military academy going and then buy in lots of cool troops. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Helge Torp and The Broccoli and everybody else who supports me on Patreon. Thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining Discord. You guys keep me going. You're the best.